Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This week we are celebrating Epiphany, when the three wise men came to visit Mary, Joseph and the young Jesus. In this prayer reflection, we are going to explore this story together and take time to reflect and pray. So, find somewhere quiet to sit, grab your Bible and simply listen to the words of this reflection, watch the images on screen and allow God to guide your thoughts and prayers. Matthew 2 verses 1 to 2 say, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Do you remember the first time you heard about Jesus? Maybe you grew up hearing Bible stories from your parents. Or maybe you heard about Jesus for the first time at church or a youth group. Maybe it was a friend or family member who first told you about him, or a teacher, or even a complete stranger. How did it make you feel? Think about that first time you were introduced to Jesus and thank God for that experience. Thank God for the opportunity you had to hear the gospel and for all the people who shared that good news with you. The Magi, the wise men, were first told of Jesus' birth by a star. They studied the skies, saw this star and followed it all the way to Bethlehem to meet Jesus. It wasn't enough to just know that he was there. They wanted to come to him, to meet him, to worship him. What does meeting with Jesus look like in your daily life? How are you following him, seeking after him, worshipping him? Micah 5 verses 2 and 4 say, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. This prophecy from Micah was one that the wise men had heard. They knew that God had made a promise long ago, that he would send a ruler, a shepherd, a king, and they trusted God. They knew that he would keep his promise. The Bible is full of promises from God and things that he still promises to us today. He promises to hear our prayers when we call out to him. He promises wisdom to those who ask for it. He promises his peace, his comfort, and perhaps most importantly, he promises hope. He promised a ruler to give hope to his people. And he promises all of us hope for a future with him, thanks to his gift of Jesus. Whatever you are going through, whatever you are facing, remember the hope that God promises to you. Hope for a future free from pain and suffering. Hope for healing hope for restoration, hope for peace, hope for freedom, hope for eternity with him. Take time to reflect on what this hope means to you. How does it change the way you live your life today? Matthew 2 verses 9 to 11 say, After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. What was the best gift that you have received this Christmas? We know that all the good things we receive, from our family and friends, 
to the food we eat, to all the wonderful things we get for Christmas, come from God. Take time to thank him for all the good things that he has given to you. The greatest gift that God has given us was the gift of Jesus. The same baby who came to earth and was visited by the wise men was the man who died on the cross for our sins and rose again three days later. This tiny, vulnerable baby was the one who defeated death once and for all. How do you respond to this news, to this story, to the baby born in a stable and the man who died for you? What gifts do you have to offer him, even if it feels small and like nothing compared to what he has done for you? How can you use what you have to serve him today? Reflect and listen to how God is calling you, to where he is leading you in this new year. Ask him what you can offer to him and ask that he gives you the courage and the boldness to be obedient.